Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time watching, my name is E. I'm a local real estate agent here in the Austin, Texas area. And today I'm going to take on a tour of this Colonial Revival inspired brand new construction right behind me in the historic Breaker Woods neighborhood, just north of downtown Austin. And before we start it, here are the specs of the home. We have three bedrooms, two and a half baths, 2,817 square feet of living space. And this house is built on a 0.14 acre lot. And it's currently listed at $1.6 million. As usual, we'll leave more this information down in the description. And before we start the tour, I wanna to give a huge thanks to Cynthia McMillan for allowing us showing her amazing listing. Now, if you guys are ready, without further ado, let's go. Okay guys, once you come up to stairs, we have this really gorgeous uh, column. They use board batten style to add more texture of the exterior to really match the siding of the exterior of the home. It has this huge front patio space. And then also you can see here's a handcrafted white oak door for the entrance. And you have all these wrought iron walls contents on the exterior as well. Now let's go in. All right, everybody, here we're inside. The first thing you realize is this texture wall. Same board and batten style, really add a texture and welcoming when you walk in from the entrance. Now, when you walk this way, you see overall the first floor, you, they use white oak for the entire flooring. You have built-in plugs on the ground. And you, one thing you realize is how bright this living room is. One thing is you have this almost floor to ceiling window on the front side of the building. And you also have these uh, ceiling beams that really add an extra dimension to separate you from the family room area and the kitchen area. And you keep walking this way, you have all these white oak floating shelves to add additional space. And you have extra storage area as well. You have this gorgeous brush brass hardware throughout the entire house. When you look at a fireplace, you have the same board and pattern style around the fireplace. You have this really cool pattern tiles around the fireplace. And I believe this is a gas fireplace. So if it so happens, there's another winter storm in Texas, you don't really have to worry about it. And again, you have this on the other side, book match with more floating shelf design, built-in storage area as well. Um, and you walk this way, this sliding door leads you to the back door. We'll go in there in a second. And if you walk in this way, what in front of you is gonna be the centerpiece of the living room, which is this gorgeous, oversized kitchen island. Beautiful core countertop, waterfall edge design with building plugs. And one thing I want you guys to realize is the builders utilize more space underneath the island as well. There are not a lot of builders doing that. That's definitely a plus for this house. And you keep walking to this way, you have the same court countertop finishes, with really gorgeous texture backsplashes. And then they also did paneled hood fins to match with the cabin space. And in the kitchen, it's too different from the living room, they have these matte black industrial finished Hardware really add a different um, texture and style in the kitchen as well. Brand new appliances, you have your dishwasher, um, you have your double oven as well. Now, here comes my favorite part of the kitchen. Check out this walk-in pantry. Very bright pantry, tons of built-in storage space. Again, they extended, if they extended the court finished countertop with backsplashes, a lot of built-in storage space and overall great design, great utilizing the space as well. You have this really cool modern um, pendant lighting for the kitchen. You have a matte black faucet to tie up the design. And when you come this way, here is your one car garage. When you come out of the garage, on your left hand side is your laundry room that is already 
pre-wired for your dryer and washer. Again, they use more coarse countertop for your laundry room and a ton of built-ins as well. And you, on my left-hand side, it is very unique yet another highlights of the downstairs, which is the mudroom area. They use coarse countertop and they have a waterfall design on the side as well. I don't know if the camera can pick up. However, there's this really nice tinted blue color combined with the brush gold hardware really add another characteristic to this house. All right guys, now follow me to the primary bedroom. So this door leads you to the outside area. We'll go there in a second. You have your hallway coat closet and I want you to show you something. Check out this powder room. Overall, great bathroom and this very unique Austin style wallpaper. You have the Capitol, you have the UT Tower. Comment below if you see anything you recognize in the wallpaper. This way is the primary bedroom. When you first walk in, the first thing you realize is how much natural light come into this space. You have the white oak flooring tied up with a wooden ceiling fan, really give another warmth into the space. And when you come this way, here is the primary bathroom area. Gorgeous tile extended into the walk-in shower. And you have double floaty vanity design, oak custom-made cabinets with brush gold hardware as well. Really cool modern style sconces on, on the wall with a, your towel hanger and your faucet to tie up the entire design. And when you come this way, check out this walk-in shower. You have a soaking tub inside the shower. These are become more common in the central Austin area. And you have clear story windows bring a ton of electrolyzing. You have another ring head. And the builder uses some really cool oxygen tile on the flooring of the shower and inside the shampoo niche as well. So overall, really great bathroom area, ton of natural lights and privacy. And of course, you have your water closet, ton of built-in storage as well. And you have a really spacious walk-in closet. If you look closely, they did utilize a lot of the waste space normally you see under the stairs. But in this case, the builder really did an amazing job on it. They add a lot of built-in shelves and recess lighting underneath. So add more lighting and openness inside the closet. All right guys, here we have is this is pretty much the primary bedroom. Now let's check out the backyard. All right guys, here we're at the backyard. Again, the design of the exterior tied up the overall of the architecture as well. As you can see, you have a wooden ceiling fan above with wood cladding ceilings and match with, again, the board and batting style of the pillar. You have your concrete patio and overall really managed size backyard. You have a potential to, potential to add a lap pool in the backyard as well. Overall, uh, really family friendly, manageable backyard. One thing I wanna point out about this backyard is this brand new fencing they put in from the builder. Also add a little, another modern touch to the house. All right guys, now let's go check out upstairs. Here we're upstairs. First thing you realize, a ton of recessed lighting bring more lights into the upstairs area. You have another gorgeous chandelier. And we have three rooms on the upper level. First one on my left-hand side. One thing you realize is how open the space is because of the vaulted ceiling the builder decided to do. You have another modern design fan with more recessed lighting on the ceiling. And again, like the primary bedroom, you have another seating area on the second level as well. And when you come this way, you have a little nook area with a pendant lighting already built in. And then on my right hand side, you have your closet area and then you have another full bathroom as well. All right guys, now we're going go down this hallway. On my right hand side, you have this nice landing area. And again, you have a two pendant lighting with a little reading slash lounging area upstairs. On my right hand side is a nicely built patio. We'll go there in a second. Now follow me to the other bedroom. And this way you have another full bathroom in this part of the house. 
gorgeous tile, quartz finish, um, vanity with brush gold hardware as well. But overall, nicely done. And across the bathroom is another vaulted ceiling bedroom. As you can see, similar to, to the other bedroom you saw, you have modern fan, you have recessed lighting, and one of my favorite part of this room is, first of all, the builders add more plugs in this sitting area that is very convenient, and they add more built-ins underneath the seating area. So overall, really thoughtful design. Definitely a big shout out to the builder. And of course, you have more closet space in this room as well. The end of the hall is a multi-use attic space. The first thing you realize about this room is not that high. So the reason for that is, since it's an attic space, in order for the, the builder to comply with the Austin City Code, in order to make your attic space habitable, you cannot raise the ceiling above seven feet tall. That's why what you're seeing is shorter than the other room you saw upstairs. However, the builders add more recessed lighting around the room to add more lights inside the house. Here you have it, pretty much upstairs living room area. Now, one last thing, let's check out the patio. So we're at the patio. As you can see, very open, a lot of air flowing. Another design tied up to the entire architecture style. You have wooden fan above. You have rectangle tiles that is waterproof. And also, in order for the builder to tie up the design with the siding, they also add wood clad on top of the ceiling as well. And they add this more recessed lighting, again, bring more lights into the space. And you have these natural exposed wooden beams, add another warmth element into the house. Overall, great design, huge shout out to the builder for being an amazing product to the market. Here you have it, brand new construction just north of downtown Austin. Gorgeous interior, a lot of cool details and a finish throughout the house. If you like what you're watching, please consider give us a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave us a comment or you can reach us down in the description. And again, I want to give a huge shout out to the listing agent, Cynthia McMillan, for allowing us showing her amazing listing. That being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys on the next one.